Okay, the truck is missing. Uh oh, somebody stole it. Tarp's drying out in the sunshine. It's nice and black, so it'll dry. So it's 9.30, so it didn't take too long. Here we have it. Nice wood. 90% ash. It's a nice hardwood. Of course, the ash borer went through this area, like this part of Ontario, years ago. And I think a few of them have hung around to keep killing the trees, because this is not live trees. Even though ash is a tree you can cut and burn without waiting to season it. It burns better seasoned, but you are you can, because it's not a creosote creator. So, but anyways, there I go. I got two bush cords there, Bert. What do you think? Hey, three rows, 16 feet by four high. That'll get me through the winter, plus what's in my truck, and plus what I already have in the garage. I don't have it going yet. Too busy working out here. This is just to cover the top. Just to keep the raindrops off the top. That's all it's for. Because otherwise, normally, when we were on the farm, it would be piled up against the trees. In amongst the trees. There. Just like that. Cool. I'll put a piece of wood along here. Just to keep it from trying to take off on me. That's my post pounder, homemade. I have two of them. See? Weld a big piece on the end of it. Like there's a piece that goes inside. It's a big lug. Because I think it's like six inches thick. Yeah, it's homemade. It's what you do around here, right? I have a, a bigger one for the big round fence pipe too. I don't know where it is. It might be it over there in my trailer. <clears throat> might be, I'm not sure. It works good for pounding posts in the ground. And this is a different type of post that comes apart in pieces. I have no T-bars. I don't know what happened to them. They might have all rotted on me and I got rid of them. I've got some wood to clean up in here yet. More vines to get rid of. Buggers are killing my trees. I've been slowly keeping, keeping on them, but... They grow faster than I move, so. And I just gotta, I don't think that tarp's big enough to do the rest, so. I might have to put that one on. Just keeps the top, keeps the rain off the top. That's all you gotta do. And it's tunneled. So the air keeps going through. See, you can see all the way through. All three of them. Like in between all the rows, and including the garage. You can see all the way through there. Probably have animals running through there now. That's fine. They can do that. They're not going to hurt anything. My wood, my fire pit wood. Yeah, I had to rearrange a little bit. I got room for more wood here. I got more of them pipes. Those are uh, trampoline pipes. See how each section got a hole in the top and there's a pin hey it's galvanized steel right works good that one you know how long they are so that one's about two and a half feet in the ground I need to go higher I can click more on top so my other plan is to bring my old gazebo from the building out and down then I can actually stack higher Just use half of it because gazebos are kind of triangle. Just go from the main pipe on the top, attach it to the wall, and come down this way. I have a spare one. Someone gave me one. It's been sitting in my other my other shed there for a few years now. It's in a garbage can. So I do have it. Plus, I have one that was a, just a carport for my wife's car when we lived at the other farm. It, but it's just a canopy, so I don't want to wreck it. Maybe we can sell it. It's all good. But anyways, that's it. A little update on that. 
Woo, almost a five minute update. There we go. Have a nice day.